let us talk about mythology again. This time, let us dive even further into our grim journey. But as always, before we are getting started, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, share this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Beginning with King Yan, also known as Yan Luo Wang. He is a formidable figure in Chinese mythology, serving as the ruler of the underworld and the judge of the dead. He presides over the Yu, the realm of the dead, where he oversees the judgment and punishment of souls based on their actions in life, so it does matter what are you doing here on earth. This role highlights his central place in the cosmic order of Chinese beliefs, emphasizing themes of justice, morality, and the afterlife consequences of earthly behavior. In mythology, Yan Wang is often depicted as a stern and fearsome judge, accompanied by guardians, oxen and horseface, who assist in maintaining order with the underworld and bringing souls before him for judgment. This imagery underscores his authority and the serious nature of his duties. Yan Wang's judgments are critical in determining the fate of souls. Whether they move on to better reincarnations, suffer punishments, or potentially even ascend to higher spiritual existences based on their earthly deeds. This process is integral to the functioning of the underworld, reflecting a broader Chinese cultural emphasis on ethical conduct and the moral implications of people's action. Now, let's go to the Turkic and Mongolian mythology with Erli Khan. He is a prominent figure in Turkic and Mongolian mythology, and revered as the god of death and the underworld. He is often depicted as a dark and malevolent deity, embodying the forces of evil, death and destruction. Erli resides in the depths of the underworld, a place associated with darkness, decay and the finality of death. That does not sound so great. According to myths, Erlik was one of the first beings created by the supreme deity Uven. However, due to his pride and subsequent rebellion, Erlik was cast out of the heavenly realms and banished to the underworld. This expulsion marked him as a symbol of opposition to the forces of light and order. In the underworld, Erlik became the ruler of the dead overseeing the souls of the deceased and serving as a judge who determines their fate in the afterlife. Alec's influence extends to causing plagues, diseases and various forms of suffering on earth, often symbolizing the unavoidable nature of death and the harsh realities of the human condition. His role is not limited to punishment and destruction. He also represents the cyclical nature of life and death, a significant impact on Shamanistic practices in the region. Shamans often sought Erlik's guidance for appeasement to ensure the safe passage of souls in the afterlife and to protect the living from his malevolent influence. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey, and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.